What's up, guys? The weekend is finally here. We got college football Saturday. I'm hyped. Last weekend, I sent out a video and kind of just gave a strategy of what to do for college football. It was basically just how to do correlated bets, stacking receivers and quarterbacks, and why it's a good strategy to use, especially for college football. I'm going to give you guys another strategy in this video that I really like to use for college football as well that kind of goes along with stacking. And then I'm just going to give you my six favorite picks um, and a couple of the games that I like. So let's just get straight into it. So I, the games I like is mainly Oregon and USC. I think the over-under for that game is like 72 and a half or something. So that's going to be a super high-scoring game. And then Georgia and Ole Miss should be a really good game too. So those are the two games. If you want to stack, I recommend going with those games. My first player that I'm looking at, first prop here, is you guys got to see this. This is insane. Okay, Ollie Gordon is probably the best running back in the country, if not, you know, at least top three. I mean, these are his yards. It is – this is insane. This is almost laughable that there's actually a player in the country that's good enough to – his line be set at 149 and a half rushing yards. That is insane. It's like – it's scary to take it because it's so high. But, I mean, if you look – 271, 282, 168. And then look at his matchup this week. This is insane. So you're telling me he's going to have a 250 yard game and then he's going against the 280th rush defense in the country. They're obviously going to be up against UCF and then they're just going to run the ball even more. And you're telling me he's not going to get it. You're dumb. All right. Look, 33 attempts, 25, 29, 29. Like 150 is insane. But he's, he's hitting that. The only thing is, I am a little scared to take it because it is 150 yards. So what you could do is I see this right here. And this is the strategy that I was talking about for college football. Other than just stacking and doing correlated bets, another really good strategy in college football, like specifically college football, is doing um, like combo plays like this. The reason this is so good is because in college football, so often you see players go way over their lines. They're way more unpredictable um, for like prize picks and the sports books to set the lines for. They have, I mean, he has games where he hits 282, 271. He could get this line by himself easily, easily. But then you just add, in case he doesn't, you add Kyle. I'm not even going to try to butcher that last name, but let me just show you his line himself he's 65 but look at this 159 109 148 the reason his line is low is because he is playing a very good iowa defense um especially for the run so i'm not going to take him individually you can if you want but personally i'm not going to do that just because when i already have this combo play right here with ollie gordon there's no reason to really i think they're going to smash us i think they're going to get easily over 250 i think ollie gordon's going to get this by himself i'm not even kidding I see him getting 250 yards again, but just to be safe, do the combo. It's such a good strategy for college football. So that's the first one. I think I have a couple other combo ones that I can show you, but let's just get the next five picks out of the way first. We're going to go Drew Alar, Penn State quarterback. They're playing Michigan. Um, Penn State's overrated. I'm not going to lie. They're overrated. Drew Alar is not the best quarterback. 193 yards isn't the highest line. I think they're going to be losing. So, yes, they're probably going to be passing the ball. But Michigan's defense is just too good. I don't see him throwing 193 yards. Michigan is one of the best defenses in the country. When they played Ohio State, they were losing. They had to throw the ball. But he didn't hit the line. And Michigan's defense is much better than Ohio State's, in my opinion, at least. Um, so I don't like Drew Alar in this game. I'm taking his under. He threw 162 against UMass, 189 against Northwestern. I don't like it. I don't like him in this game. I'm taking the under on that all day. You could also see so fantasy score. We could take the over on fantasy score. Now, I understand that doesn't make much sense because I'm saying under on passing yards. But, I mean, if you look at his fantasy score, you know, rushing touchdowns, running the ball, 
I really like going fantasy score for quarterbacks in college football. So you can uh, look at that as well. I'm still taking the under on his passing yards. So that's my second one. Let's go to the third one. And it is one of the games I talked about earlier with Georgia and Ole Miss. It's going to be McConkey. That's how you say it. I don't know. McConkey. Yeah. Lad McConkey. All right, here we go. So, Brock Bowers is still out for this game. Since he's been out, this is what he's been putting up, 58, 135, 95. I don't even know why his line's still set at 66 and a half. Without Brock Bowers out, this he's hitting it. I mean, I don't genuinely don't know why it's still so low at 66 and a half. It doesn't make any sense to me. In this situation, I'm not gonna take I'm not gonna take the combo bet here. It's not bad. You could definitely do it. Especially since Tennessee is playing Missouri, that's probably going to be a shootout. So it's not bad to take this, but I think McConkey by himself is a lock. So there's really no need to do this because we could, if you want to stack another game, Tennessee and Missouri is a great game to stack as well. And if you're going to do that squirrel, white is the way to go. So I kind of like them by themselves. So I just don't, I don't see the need to combo, but you can, if you want. The fourth pick is another game I was talking about, Oregon-USC. Basically, you really could just do any Oregon receiver. It doesn't really matter. I think this is going to be a crazy shootout because USC's offense is good, but their defense is so bad. So every game they're in is like 50 to 55. It's insane. And Oregon's one of the best offenses in the country. So you could go Tez Johnson over. This is a crazy game to stack. This is an insane game to stack, guys. But personally, I just love Troy Franklin. You know, you can go his yards. You can go his receptions. But personally, in a game like this, I'm going yards. I could easily see him getting a 50-yard touchdown. Not all the props are out yet, so his fantasy score's not out. But I'm interested to see what his fantasy score's at. If it's like, I don't know. I feel like it's going to be 15 and a half, maybe. Um, somewhere right around there, but I'm still taking his yards. Uh, but like I said, this is a crazy game to stack. Bo Nix is a great way to go with the stack. And then Caleb Williams, obviously, and then you'll probably want to go Rice or something like that for USC's receiver if you want to stack that game. Next, we got Jaden Ott for Cal. His line set at 97 and a half. Basically... I'm a Cal fan, so I watch this guy every week. I watch everything he does. He is insane. I'm telling you guys, he is a great running back. The problem, he had some injuries this year. He had some games where Cal was just losing by a lot. They just didn't run the ball. Every time this guy gets 15 carries, he's hitting this line. And the past couple games, our backups have been out. We have Infonze who has been taking some of his carries, but he's out, um, or he's doubtful at least, and then the other running back behind him is out as well. So Ott should get 20 carries at least in this game, and if you look at the matchup, he has a great matchup going against Washington State, 268th against the run. This is a home game for Ott as well. He plays better at home, just like everyone So I like this line a lot at 97.5. I think that's definitely fair, and I'm definitely taking the over there. So now let's get to the sixth pick. The sixth pick is basically, and this is another thing you could stack. Okay, I wouldn't stack this one just because I don't know if it's going to be a blowout. I don't know if it's going to be a close game. We'll see. But for individual picks here, basically any Maryland receiver you want to pick. Dykes, he's going to hit. Um, Jones, he's probably going to hit. My personal favorite, Prather. Look at this guy. This is their Jones every week has a higher line, but I think Prather's is number one. So I don't understand why they always put Jones at a higher line. If you watch the game, Prather's the guy they go to when they need it most. But so I think that's free. Felton's a great pick as well. So yeah, if you want to do a six man slip, you want to stack this or something, definitely give uh, Prather a look. Definitely give the Maryland offense a look. You should be looking at the Maryland offense every week. They are a great offense, one of the best in the country, and they really fly under the radar for some reason. So I like Prather here. 
Um, so these are the six picks we got. Like I said, I like to just kind of go over the games with you guys and kind of let you guys form your own opinions on what you think is going to happen. But these are the picks that I like the most. And then I'm going to show you guys some more of the combo things that I like to do. So no, let me clear this. You guys got this, right? So this over, drill our under, right? I'm going to go slow just so you guys can see it real quick. Okay, so I'm going to clear this. Now, if you guys want to do two mans with the strategy that I'm talking about, you can definitely go something like receiving yard combos is great, right? And then we can see, I still like this. Even though I said I like them individually, I still like them both over combined. I also like this one. Burton and Leggett, by far, in a way, they're team's number one receivers. They're almost in a shootout every week. I think Bama, is it Bama, Kentucky? Yeah, Bama, Kentucky is going to be a good game for Burton as well. I think he's probably going to go over his individual line, but I like his combo more. So you could do something like this. And then basically, the reason this is a good strategy, guys, is because prize picks and all sports books, they're not going to let you pick just two players on the same team, right? Because it would be super easy just to go say, okay, I'm going to go pick Milrow for Bama, Bama's quarterback, and then Burton and take both the over. And then he happens to throw a deep touch on a Burton and they both hit their over. So they're, they don't let you pick the two players on the same team. This is kind of a way around that because you can pick this combo and then you can pick Milrow or you can go Spencer Rattler. Um, either one's fine, but you can basically do this and just take the overs on both. And it lets you do this now just because Leggett's added on to this one. So it's basically taking the same two players from the same team, but you're actually allowed to do it this way. So this is a, an amazing strategy. If you like to do two mans and you don't want to do a six man, you could do the same thing with like rushing yards. You can take like a combo rushing yard, let's say maybe this one, cause it's Bama, right? Go over. And then you can just go and take the Bama quarterback under or the Texas tech quarterback under. So it would let you do that too. So that's a great strategy to use. Uh, those are my picks for Saturday. And those are the strategies to use. I want to show you guys a few things first. I just want to show you guys, this is the VIP member Discord that we've made now. Just click this link. It's on the YouTube. I'm going to put it in the description of this video. It's $4.99 a week. You can cancel at any time. It's going to give you, once you purchase it, you have seven days. It's going to give you 15 to 30 of the best picks for that week. I'm sending out my VIP picks for Saturday tonight. I'm going to do that. And then for Sunday as well, this weekend's going to be crazy. I'm probably sending out 10 to 15 just this weekend. And it's going to, it's going to be great. We're up right now. We're up, I think, five units. Thursday night football was crazy this week. And it's going really well. So go make sure you sign up for that. And then go ahead. I'll wanted to shout this out. Go follow the Instagram, okay? Ghostlocks underscore DFS. Follow this if you want to keep up with this because I'm going to be posting how the Discord goes, how those picks go, and basically just what people say in the Discord. i um, getting a lot of love and support right now, so I appreciate that. Other than that, just make sure you go ahead and like the video. I give free picks every single day on my TikTok, on this YouTube instagram stories sometimes uh so go ahead and like the video subscribe if you want to keep seeing those other than that guys good luck with your picks and i'll see you later